In this video, we are going to start with a new subtopic under the category of differentiation which is called as logarithmic differentiation. We already have some idea as to how to differentiate the functions of these three types. You see it is written as fx raised to the power n, n raised to the power n, n raised to the power fx. That means somewhere if I have a function wherein fx is a function in the form of x, fx is a function in x and your n is a constant. I write here fx is a function in x. I have written for short f and c and n is a constant. We have seen how to differentiate these three categories of functions. Let me take an example for this. The first category is fx raised to the power n. That means say I have x square. You know how to differentiate x square, right? Because 2 is a constant, x is in x only, so the differentiation is 2x. So we have done x cube, x square, 3x square, something of that sort. This has been covered. Then the next category is n raised to the power n. That means what? That means you have already done what do you mean by 3 square? 3 square is 9. How to differentiate 9? 9 is a constant. Differentiation with respect to x is 0. We have done that also. And the third category is what? n raised to the power fx. Now n raised to the power fx means say 2 raised to the power x. It is nothing but the formula of a raised to the power x. Differentiation we know. So these three categories we have covered and we know how to differentiate if something of this form is given. But what about something of this form? Now consider this carefully. fx raised to the power gx. fx raised to the power gx means fx is also a function in x, gx is also a function in x and they are given in the power form, they are raised to it. Then how to differentiate? So the criteria to differentiate these type of questions and functions is logarithmic differentiation. What is to be done? We say that let this is y and then we take the log both sides. So it becomes log y here and here it becomes what? Log fx raised to the power gx. Got it? Now what has been done? We have taken log both sides. Now you know one formula, log m raised to the power n, wherein m is raised to the power n, so the power comes outside. So it is like, you see that this is the power that is there, so it will come forward, so it becomes gx log fx. And here it is still log y, so this is how it has to be done. Now you have manipulated the given question to this form. Now what else has to be done? You have to just differentiate both sides. So I'm telling you the criteria or the procedure how to solve this category of questions wherein we have the base also as a function in x, the power also as a function in x, not these three categories. Now differentiating both sides with respect to whatever is there, say x is there, then here you have to differentiate and then you have to reach the final result. How will it be? Log y differentiation 1 upon y dy by dx because you know that logs differentiation is 1 upon that thing and y also has to be differentiated with respect to x. Then gx is already there, keep it as it is. Log fx means you have to differentiate fx also. So it will become d by dx of fx and then it follows. It will depend how lengthy the question is depending upon what is the value of fx and you will solve it later on. So that means dy by dx is not achieved and got till now. This is 1 upon y dy by dx. To find out only dy by dx, what we will do? We will multiply this 1 upon y. There we will keep it to the other side. So here it was 1 upon y. There it becomes multiply by y. So this is how we will be dealing with these type of questions. We will have to solve it and reach it here. This procedure will be followed and we will see how to do it in the next videos. 